Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I am Alexis. Thank you for stopping by. So today I'm going to be doing another video on skincare. I did one, gosh, it's gotta be like at least a month ago, maybe two months ago. So I decided to come back and update you on um, new things that I've added into my regimen as of pretty recently too. Um, so the oldest, newest purchase that I got is the Mario Badescu. Badescu. Okay, last time I made it, I could not figure out how to say his last name. It's Badescu. I went to Ulta and I asked Badescu. So, the Mario Badescu Strawberry Face Scrub. This is really, really good. It smells amazing. What I like about it, so this is, oh, it's so bright. There we go. So what I like about it is that it has actual strawberry seeds that is used to scrub the face. But at the same time, the formula in here, I mean, um, it just, it really, really makes your face feel nice and soft. So I've been using this for about a month now, and it definitely, definitely, definitely works very well. Um, last time I went to Ulta, I got a bunch of samples of stuff, and one of the things that I got a sample of and decided to purchase was, and it's a newer product, um, from Dermalogica, Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel Cream, and it is really good. So it comes in this cute little packaging. I already opened it, but I put it back. Here's the actual product. It comes in this little fold-out you know like a little like a cocoon and it folds out like that Oop. little facts around it and then on the inside it says transform by night glow by day and seriously it really does so I got a sample of this product like I mentioned and um, when it just came out I guess and it really does help your sleep out a lot and the funny thing is it's such let me see if I can get some out it's such a lightweight product that you think you know oh well it smells really good too it's so lightweight you think you know oh my gosh i'm gonna wake up dry like there's no way because it's you know water based but legit when i woke up the next morning my face was super radiant it was glowing by day okay they don't just write this stuff man they've tested it the one thing i didn't realize because i had um just got the sample was that this is not a moisturizer per se so you would go about doing your regular face routine and then put this on and then put your moisturizer on but for me I mean I just put this on I feel like if I put a moisturizer on too it'd be too heavy but that's just me I don't know I have weird skin sometimes it's dry sometimes it's not so let's read some facts about this so um, revitalizing treatment gel cream transforms skin overnight by optimizing nighttime skin recovery. Persian silk tree extract, because we fancy, reduces signs of skin fatigue and restores vitality, while Wuzu Yu extract, real fancy, provides visibly radiant skin by morning. And that is very, very true. Then you have your tamarind seed polysaccharide, which cushions the skin, creating a nourish. A nourishing cocoon of comfort for soft and rehydrated skin. It's got Australian kakadu plum extract. I don't know if I like the way that sounds, but it's an antioxidant vitamin C, or has antioxidant vitamin C, which improves and brightens skin tone. French lavender essential oil, which is why it smells like that. Um, calming sandalwood and patchouli. Um, it's got a lot of fancy stuff in it that help make your skin beautiful. I am by no means an esthetician or a skin expert. I just know that this is good and it makes me happy. So, there you go. The most recent thing that I got that my mom sent to me, hi mommy, is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is really good stuff. So before at night, I would wear my rosebud salve on my lips to keep them kind of hydrated during the night. I've been using this and I wake up and they are still hydrated. I will go and brush my teeth 
and they will still be hydrated. So this is some really good stuff. I believe this has coconut oil in it, if I'm not mistaken, as one of the main main things. It definitely has like a coconutty smell to it. But this has been, I've been using it for maybe about a week now. And I really like it. And even sometimes like I'm wearing the um, ColourPop Ellery Sessi Ultra Matte Lipstick. And I put some of this on when I woke up. I did my makeup like two, three hours later. And it will help them to stay nice and hydrated when it comes to, you know, those liquid lipsticks that tend to be a little more drying but help out to keep um keep you from being nasty and crusty mouth so this is another good one i recently just got i got my whole big package of stuff from dermalogica so this is not a plug but if you buy i believe it is 60 dollars worth of um dermalogica stuff you get a little pack I believe it's called the sleep recovery kit and you get your cleanser you get a toner you get a sample of the cocoon night gel cream and this little guy right here also the nightly lip treatment I have not used it as I just got it today but I will say first impressions are it smells really good it's got like a minty smell to it it feels really lightweight but also kind of um, kind of thick so I don't think this will be a very greasy product so I am excited to try that I think what I'm going to do from now on is or until this little guy expires or runs out is wear this at night because it is a nightly lip treatment and then use this in the morning when I wake up just so I have it so if I do decide to do a liquid lipstick I will be covered so Maybe next time I will let you know how this goes. I also got the Overnight Repair Serum. This one um, I decided to get because I have fine lines in my forehead. And I really want to kind of incorporate a little more hyaluronic acid into my facial regimen. And in case you don't know, I'm going to... I guess the simplified version is hyaluronic acid kind of keeps moisture and helps your face to retain moisture. So I asked my actual esthetician where I get my facials at Ulta and she recommended this because it will help with those lines. It is an age smart product. I mean, I don't really need it for like, oh my gosh, my skin is getting so old, but just for those lines that are associated with aging. So a little about this guy. It will maximize nighttime skin repair to help minimize fine lines and increase luminosity. This serum is used with your nighttime treatment, obviously. Um, it will help to stimulate collagen production to firm and renew resilience, while potent argan, argon and rose oils revitalize lackluster skin and smooth, sm smooth away fine lines, which is why I got it for those fine lines. So, And then it's free of artificial fragrances and colors, which... Um, it seems that way so according to the instructions just hold it up down like this and then open it and then put like you know four to six drops or whatever first thoughts it's very fragrant even though I know it's says artificial so whatever they use in here oh I bet you it's the rose flower oil it's very fragrant it almost smells like a cologne that my dad used to have that I didn't like I think he still has it so not too keen on the fragrance but if it does the trick i'll just hold my nose so i got a sample of the skin resurfacing cleanser and also dermalogica product i'm a dermalogica girl apparently and the sample worked really well i really like the sample so i decided to go ahead obviously and get the full thing i'm gonna have to return this i used it and it just burned for some reason. So when I used the skin cleanser or the the one I used before, I didn't have any problems with that. Like I could, obviously you're not gonna wanna put it in your eyes. You never wanna put a cleanser in your eyes. But I would go you know, around, get my eyebrows, and I never had any problems. 
this one, I did the same exact thing. I did not put it in my eyes. I put it around my eyes just as I did the other one. And it burned my eyes. Like, my eyes were burning. And I just thought, okay, you know, that's weird. But after a while, I was like, no, I can't do this. So, I don't know what it is about this product that makes it do that. Then I thought it was weird because I guess whenever I, you know, use a cleanser, I want that kind of maybe sudsy feeling or at least to feel like, okay, it's doing its job. With this one, it almost, it was too light. It was almost where it was just like, okay, am I just rubbing my face right now? Where'd it go? So the instructions say that you're supposed to lightly lather in hands, apply to damp face and throw in the morning and evening massaging with light upward strokes for at least 30 seconds avoiding the eye area it may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun so use a sunscreen with it obviously i mean i never because it's winter and we've had crazy snow so i didn't notice any kind of sensitivity but it definitely was not fun around my eyes so i'm gonna have to say this is a no-go for me as for the other products i mean like i said the nighttime cream worked really well with the sample so i'm excited to see how it does now that i have the full product i'm excited to see how the overnight repair serum does i'm just excited because i'm really getting into skincare and face stuff which is not good for my wallet but it's good for my skin so i guess that balances thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found something that maybe you'd like to try and if you have recommendations on products that maybe I could try for my my skin, it's still still youthful, you know, but it could definitely use more things to help keep that youthfulness. So thanks again, and I will see you guys next video. Bye. Oh, one last thing that I want to say, and I think I said it on my last skincare video, but I want to say it on here. Makeup is awesome. Makeup is so much fun. I love it. But if you do not have healthy skin, it doesn't matter what you put on your face, it will not look good. So make sure you're drinking your water, you're using your proper regimen. It doesn't have to be, you know, $80. This was $80. This, <laughs> this Sound Sleep Cocoon Nighttime Gel was $80. It doesn't have to be name brand stuff. Just make sure whatever you use works for you. You're drinking your water. You have some kind of routine, making sure that you're cleaning everything off, getting all of the makeup, dirt, oils, whatever off your face, and, you know, just keeping your base right. Just wanted to say that. Thanks, guys. Bye.